I've got my friend Nick here, who's recently torn his ACL, unfortunately, and we're going to go through the process of how you put a knee brace on. You ready, Nick? Yes, Tom. All right, here we go. So one thing you want to know, there's a lot of Velcro here. So what may help you when you're taking your brace off is you put the straps back like this on themselves, kind of, kind of back here a little bit. And that way all the Velcro is out of the way. You've okay. got five straps on here, right? So one thing to know while I'm doing this is that each strap is numbered. And there's a reason for that because that helps the overall fit of the brace on your leg and helps the technologies that involve with the frame. So what you'll need to do is to step through the brace just like this. Now, as you notice, I've got Nick sitting down, which is real important. It's hard to put a knee brace on when you're standing up, so I prefer to have you sitting down. Have your leg bent at about a 30-degree angle. And if you can see here, you've got the hinges that are just above your condyle or your kneecap here, and they're a little bit posterior. You get that placed properly. You have your calf cuff right here. Now, what you have is a frame. You have an anterior cuff here and a posterior cuff. That's called the four points of leverage. And this whole strapping system is designed to reduce strain on your ACL. And it keeps this part of your leg called the tibia from moving forward. And that's what reduces the strain. And that's what helps protect the ligament. So we're going to go ahead and go through the strapping sequence. What you'll notice on the strap is right here, there's a number. So we don't expect you to memorize them, but the numbers are right here. So now you know the first strap is the, most, is the lowest strap on the brace. Put it through here, pull it tight. You don't have to pull it super tight at the beginning. You just want to get it positioned here. So that's number one. Number two is your posterior thigh strap here. And again, it also has a number on it as well. Pull it through the ring. You cinch it up, comfortable, but you don't have to over tighten it at the beginning, and you do that. The number three strap, and you can see, I'll get back to the hinges here, they're a little bit posterior, and that's fine, okay? The number three strap is just right below the number two strap. Put that through, and that fits all right so far? Good. Okay. And you bring that there. Now, the number four strap, which is right here, is the most important strap of the brace. This is what puts the force on your tibia to keep it from moving forward. And that's really the critical part about protecting your ACL, whether it's been injured or you're trying to prevent injury. That settles right there. And then your number five strap is right behind your calf. Now one suggestion here that works really well, once you've put this brace on the first time, you probably do not have to disengage this strap a second or third time. That's pretty much set each time. So every time you put the brace on, one, two, three, and four, those are the ones you're going to adjust every time based upon your level of activity. All right. So why don't we stand up there for a quick second, see how that fits. Feels good. Okay, so now that we've got the straps put on, so go ahead and stand up, Nick, and then you can kind of test the straps to see if they feel tight enough. Because one of the things that you'll find is that if the straps are too loose, then the brace might move down, what we call migration. So it's always good to get them tight enough so that way the brace is staying in place. One of the things that's really important about knee brace, and as I mentioned about taking stress off the ACL, the hinge that we have here, and it's called force point, what it does is it helps take your knee out of what we call the at-risk position. And that means as your knee goes from flexion to extension, like into full extension, that's when the risk of ACL injury goes up pretty high. This hinge helps dampen you from going into complete extension. So what it does is help protect your knee from getting in that at-risk zone. So when you combine the frame design of four points of leverage of reducing strain on your ACL, in addition to the hinge keeping you out of that at-risk zone, you've got a great level of technology to help protect against ACL injuries.